Hello, Power Apps friends. Thanks for tuning into this video where I'll show you how to edit a form in Power Apps. Let's go. I'm here at make.powerapps.com working in a solution that I created for this demo. I've built out a table called Pet and it has the columns that you see here. If you want to know how I built this out, check out the video linked above. Now that we have the Pet table and columns, we need a user interface or form for it. Under the Pet table, I'll click on Forms. And here we're going to want the form type of main, which is called information. Down on the bottom, you can zoom in to get a little bit of a better view. You can also change your device here, desktop, tablet, phone, and so on. We're going to leave it at desktop. And what we want to do here is drag over the columns that we created previously. Right now we just have name and owner, which are the recommended and required fields. So they kind of have to be here. But to get to the other fields or columns, click this. Let me just expand that a little bit. Table columns. We added a handful of things here that we need to drag onto the form. But first, let's look at this section here. The section is kind of a container for your different columns. At the moment, it's just taking up one column here on the form. But let's say that we want to add an extra column. So we'll make this two columns. A little bit difficult to see there. I'll zoom out. Once we start dragging the fields or columns over, it'll be a little bit more obvious. So we have the name of the pet. Next, we need the type. So I'm going to pick up type right here and you just drag and drop to where that line is. Drop it onto the form. We also have weight. Pick that up and drag it over here. And then scrolling over in this second column, that's not super visible at the moment, we will add date of last visit. Now you can see that second column a little bit better. And then pet owner. Now you'll notice picture here. We don't actually need to drag this on the form. In my other video, I said that that should be the primary picture. So there'll be a different way to upload that and we don't need to put it on the form. All right, for what we're doing here, we are good to go. I'm going to save and publish up here on the top right. You can also just publish and that will save your changes. This is pushing everything to the database so it's going to be available to all other users. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to go back. And right now we just have tables basically without a UI. We did update the form, but there's no URL to go launch that form because we don't have an app. So what we need to do is create an app, come up to apps here, and then new app, model driven app. We'll use the modern app designer. We'll call this tiny veterinary. This is our blank app. And over on the left hand side, this is called your site map, which is basically how the user is going to navigate around. We want to add pet there as well as contact since contact is being used as the pet owner. If you come and expand this over here, click down on navigation. This is essentially your site map. I'll click on area one here. We'll call this tiny veterinary as well. Group one will be called the same thing. And then sub area, this is where it gets interesting. The sub area actually hooks into your table. So this will pull from pet. And title will be pet. You'll see now that we've hooked up a table, we get a nice preview over here of what the navigation will look like. We want one sub area for contacts as well. So if you click on this group and click add sub area, this one will point to a table and contact. Add. And there we go. That's our app. Let's save and publish this as well. And then if you click on play, this will open up the end user interface. Defaults is to active pets. We don't have any. So we'll say new. And here's our form. Let me do some simple data entry here. Pet name Bella. Bella is a cat. Weight will go with 9.4 pounds. 
the owner is the owner of the record. That's not the owner of the pet. By default, all of your records are going to have this, and it's me because I'm creating it. But moving over to the right, date of last visit. Let's say Bella was in over the summer, July 16th maybe. And the pet owner, this again is looking up to the contact table. If I just hit enter, that'll pull back all of our contacts. Let's just say sample data Maria Campbell is the owner. And that's it. We could save and close. Now we have one active pet here. That's how to customize forms in Power Apps, and also how you create a new model-driven app to pull it in. If you want to learn more about Power Apps, check out the playlist, and be sure to subscribe so you get notified when I upload new things. Much appreciated.